Hello, it is Monday, August 21st, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday puzzle today, which means a fairly gentle, approachable crossword. I hope it is those things because I am particularly pressed for time today, so I really do have to get this solved quickly. And uh, this uh, quick edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Aaron Spiller, Lake House Bros, William Arundel, and as always, the indomitable Shawmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Self Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They're bringing us this series and sustaining this channel with that support. And if you'd like to uh, contribute in that manner, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve and click or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you can find the bonus videos available to patrons. And I was just reminded by someone in the... Um, patron-only channel in the Daily Solve Discord chat server that I have not yet uploaded the most recent mini puzzle, Speed Solve. I'm very sorry about that. I did record it. I don't know what um, what happened there. So maybe something went wrong with the, uh, the upload, but I will get that uh, put out as soon as I can when I have a moment today. And thank you to everybody who's a patron. I really do appreciate it. And of course, you can join that very same Discord uh, chat server. Um, there is a channel for uh, Patreon backers, but the most of the Discord is free for everybody to use, so you can join that in a link in the description field. And uh, there's also the ability to subscribe to the channel on YouTube, which I very much appreciate. Thank you to everybody who's done that. It is a big help. All right, so let's get on to today's crossword, which is constructed by Jennifer Nutt, who's constructed, I think, around 10 puzzles for the New York Times. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see how we do with this. Jamaican music genre. In three letters, my guess is ska. So let's check the crosses on that. Drink sucker upper. A straw. Bear in a eucalyptus forest. So bear in quotation marks there. A koala bear. Koala bears famously like eucalyptus koalas. We're waiting. Any time now? Let's look at the crosses on that. Approximate weight of a full-grown walrus. A ton. That sounds about right to me, I suppose. Author Bradbury, Ray Bradbury, the science fiction author. Some saxes could be, uh, saxophones could be alto saxophones. And not require fees to be paid. To not require, to waive a charge or something? To not require fees to be paid. And here we have above is over. It does look like wave, doesn't it? Wave. So, you know, I, I, all I can think of is waive the fees, but fees is already in the um, the clue, so it isn't that. Very beginning. The onset, the outset. There we go. Largest city in Nebraska. Must be Omaha, I would think. Uh, fur tycoon John Jacob Astor. The Astor family, a famously wealthy um, American family, I suppose. It was the fur trade that generated that, that wealth. Initially, anyway, Ibsen's blank gabbler, Heta, Heta gabbler, um, Ibsen, the playwright, and then eggs on, urges somebody, you egg them on, you coax them or encourage them, hospital procedure, an MRI, a magnetic resonance imagery, a, a way to scan, scan your body, um, to mature as wine is for wine to age, and if one got hitched, one, oh no, sorry, Heta gabbler with D's, apologies, um, Got hitched, tied the knot. There we go. Uh, Doo-wop is a sort of musical style. And then refuses to share. If one hogs something, you refuse to share it. The Purloined Letter author. That's Edgar Allan Poe. Um, famous sort of horror mystery writer. Uh, Pulitzer or Pritzker. Those are uh, prizes. What is the Prisker Prize? Is that an art prize? The Pulitzer is a journalism. Well, no, it's not just journalism. It's for all sorts of different, um, uh, all sorts of different uh, fields. What is a Pritzker? I think that might be an art prize. I've heard of that. I think it might be an art prize. Earns and earns and earns. Rakes in the money, like the Astor family from their furs. Money isn't everything, which is uh, certainly the case. National Park with the notorious Angel Landing hike. Uh, Zion National Park in Utah, I'm guessing. I don't know Angel's Landing, but I'm just guessing based, sort of based on the, the film, to be honest. Desert Watering Hole, an oasis, and uh, Como Esta Usted, so sort of 
formally asking someone how they're doing in Spanish. And then Mount Etna, active Italian volcano, which I think just recently erupted again. I guess, I mean, I think it erupts fairly frequently. Uh, not require fees to be paid. Oh, wave charges. There we go. Okay. Wave charges. And this is related to the theme in some way. Actually, let's just glance at this quickly. All right. Okay. Something you might hold to your ear in order to f hear the first parts of 1824, 52, and 62 across. A, 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 a conch or a shell? Conch or the, like a, you know, hold a conch shell to your ear to amplify noise? Because we have tide and wave, and these are homophones, I think, in order to hear the first part. So I think this here is doing double duty. It both means you would sort of hear the sound in that situation. But also, I think the question mark plus here means we're doing homophones of the first parts of these answers. So tied, even though it's spelled as in, you know, the sort of past participle of tie, so you tied up this knot, it's also a homophone of the ocean tide. And similarly here with wave and wave, ocean waves. So let's see if we can confirm either of those two possibilities, conch or shell. Corn interiors. Uh, cob, so maybe it's shell. And then a kerfuffle is a hoo-ha, maybe? A sort of big to-do, a commotion. And then hashtag that trended in a late 2000s movement. That was the Me Too movement. Um, I'm sure that's right. And then office leader is a boss. A jiffy is a sec, just one moment, one jiffy, one sec. And done in as a dragon. Well, if you did in a dragon, you slew it. So slain in this case, I suppose. And then a berry in a smoothie bowl is the official berry superfood of the New York Times crossword. We haven't seen the acai berry in, I don't know, a few weeks, maybe. So there it goes in the puzzle. Cherry tune, a lilt, maybe. Let's look at the cross on that story with Achilles, the Iliad, the um, which deals with the um, siege of Troy. And then words after because that don't really explain. Because I say so doesn't really explain anything. And then a set of antlers is a rack of antlers is what that's called. Uh, cheerful as an outlook is a rosy outlook. Smoking hot is sexy, maybe. Let's see if that works with the crosses. Fishy bagel topper. Bagel and lox. Oh, that is a, that is a thing that I enjoy enormously and have not had in a while. Biblical son of Seth. Uh, Enos. I think I, I, I can never quite remember all these lineages, but fortunately the crosses helped me out a bit there. Covers in goo. Sli you slime someone, you cover them in goo. Uh, something I remember happening all the time on the cable channel Nickelodeon uh, when I was young. Lily of pharmaceuticals. Eli Lily is a pharmaceutical company I've certainly heard of. Uh, so something silly, it could be inane. And stinky is malodorous. There we go. A poor odor. Ohio City, where Goodyear is headquartered, must be Akron, Ohio. And then to fund as a university would be to endow that university. Universities can have um, endowments that um, fund their activities. Chicago Airport Code oh, Ord for, um, and I, I think I, I think I might have learned from a viewer of this series that Ord once stood for Orchard Field. I think maybe something like that, which is why Chicago O'Hare now has this. Uh, seemingly no connection between its present name and its code. Okay, GI Entertainers, USO. The USO, um, the USO show is as um, an entertainment conducted overseas for military personnel. To stitch up is to sew clothing or something else. The Viking, well, a Viking language could be Norse, and then fruity breakfast biscuit is a... Something scone, a current scone. Yes, it is a current scone. So a scone with, with currents in it. Uh, and then the current here, once again, we are referring to the, well, referring to the homophone, which would be spelled with an A, uh, the ocean current, once again. Of the ears, oral, appropriate to today's theme. I don't think this is technically part of the theme, but it's certainly relevant. Decisive victories are routes. Straight laced is prim, prim and proper. 
Saturday Night Live cast member from 1980 to 1984. Bill Bill Murray? I don't know. Was Bill Murray a Saturday Night Live cast member? I'm not actually sure. West Bank Group? No, it's not that. Because West Bank Group, presumably this is the PLO. Let's just check the crosses. Twice Told Tales. Um, I, I know that from something. I mean, I, I know a bookstore of that name, but I assume that's not what this is. Replay option is slow-mo, slow motion. Hammond Haw. Oh, Murphy. Uh, I don't know. Why can't I think who this is? Uh, Summer in Quebec. I was never a big SNL person, to be honest. Summer in Quebec. Uh, Ete is Summer in French. And then Jerry Maguire's profession and Jerry Maguire. He was a sports agent. I can't remember if I ever saw that film, but it was a huge phenomenon when it came out. Metal that isn't that an alchemist converts into gold, lead famously. Oh, Elaine Murphy? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Opposite of sparse is dense. Slight advantage, the edge. Eddie Murphy. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Yes, I know. That was very obvious. Port of Yemen. Aiden, a port of Yemen. Biblical sister of Rachel is Leah. Spiny sea creatures are urchins, of course. A letter between sigma and epsilon in the Greek alphabet is tau. Prepare to regift, perhaps, is to rewrap, unwrap. You unwrap something, then then rewrap it and regift it. Dark beer variety could be a stout. Is a dark beer? It broke up on December twenty sixth, nineteen ninety one. Would be the USSR. So this is rewrap. Oh, I'm surprised that regift and rewrap are repeated like that. Lust or envy? Uh, either one is a sin. And finally, app that asks where to on its home screen would be Uber, and a small snack is a simple bite. So there we go. I really apologize for rushing, but I am I am extremely short on time, so I didn't really have much choice. Uh, but let's look at our theme quickly before we wrap up this video. So we had our shell, which is something you might hold to your ear in order to hear the first parts of 1824, 52, and 62 across, which are our ocean tide, wave, current, and eddy. All right, I forgot to look at eddy. Oh, that's very good. So an eddy, a little whirlpool. Um, which would be spelled E-D-D-Y in that context. So that's very nice that these are all homophones and differently spelled um, homophones from what they are in the theme. So they, they're all consistent in that regard. Uh, very nice, simple theme by Jennifer Nutt. And uh, as is often the case on Monday, you don't need to understand the, the theme to solve most of the clues. Although in the case of the revealer, I think you actually sort of do, which isn't always the case on a Monday, but was today. Um, let me know how you fared with that one. Sorry. Eddie Murphy, can't believe that took me so long. Anyway, there we go. That was the Monday crossword. I enjoyed it. Hope you did as well. I'll be back tomorrow with the Tuesday crossword. It should be another relatively simple themed puzzle. Do join me then and find out. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.